Good evening, everyone. I'm Carmine Jimay. Except for a few weeks of rodeo, this summer is all about baseball. And the only summer college baseball team in the state is the Casper Horseheads. Here's Derek, the Horseheads mascot, losing a foot race to some young fans. Bottom of the fourth, Jackson Collins trying to make Derek feel a little better. Big man hit ball hard. Jackson cranks one deep and gone to right field. The fans love that. Jackson's solo homer puts the horse heads up 3-1. Scary moment, though, in the top of the fifth. Alex Cloutier pitching for the horse heads, and he hits Ryan Wallstead in the head. Ryan goes down. You can see Alex very concerned about the situation. Thankfully, Ryan was okay, and he took his base at first to the support of the Casper fans. Very nice people out there at Mike Lansing Field. Four batters later, with the bases loaded, Garrett Dupuis hits one just through the gap. They dive for it, can't get it. And two runs come in to score for the big sticks. Tonight, they spoke softly and carried a big stick, beating the horse heads 10 to 5. That drops Casper to 9 and 14 this season overall. They play at Mike Lansing Field tomorrow through Saturday at 6.30 and Sunday at 4.30. And just down the road, Casper College men's basketball is hosting camp next Monday through Wednesday. You can still sign up for both sessions. One is for, fir is for fourth, first through fourth graders and another for fifth through eighth graders. They'll focus on the fundamentals like passing, dribbling, shooting form, rebounding, and defense. The camp is led by Sean Gutting. You see him right there, the new T-Birds head coach. And new assistant coach, Lester Stewart, will help out as well. Here's Coach Gutting on the goal of his camp. Ultimately, I want our, our camp to be a lot of fun. Uh, I want it to be high energy. I want you know we'll make sure the kids know when they get here, like, hey, there's a lot of yelling, a lot of moving, a lot of uh, you know, there, there's no sitting still. I mean, we want kids to come and and have some fun, enjoy themselves, and hopefully get worn out a little bit by the end of the day, so they can take a nap when their parents pick them up. Staying in Casper, David Street Station has a bunch of great activities this summer. That includes movies, farmers market, workout classes, the art walk and much more. Well, tomorrow that much more is the Wyoming Athletics Pep Rally. Here are pictures from last year's UW Rally, which was the first one ever. Fans are encouraged to arrive tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. with the evening program starting at 6. The POC speakers include interim president Neil Theobald, athletics director Tom Berman, football coach Craig Bull, Cowboys basketball coach Alan Edwards, and new Cowgirls basketball head coach Gerald Maddinson. You'll also see football and basketball team members, the Western Thunder Marching Band, UW Spirit Squad, and of course, the main man, the mascot, Pistol Pete. And if you can't make it there, you can watch it right here. Our own Kira Grogan will be live from David Street Station tomorrow at 5 and 6. Here's yesterday's Legion baseball scores still waiting on tonight's results. The Edmonton Outlaws got two wins over Rock Springs' Archie Hay Post 24. Sheridan defended Wyoming by beating Dickinson, North Dakota, 8-5. The Cody Cubs won a combined 17-0 over the Lovell Mustangs in their doubleheader. And somehow the Cats beat the Tigers, defying natural selection. Douglas winning two games over Torrington. And in the only close game yesterday, the Sheridan Jets defeated the Gillette Rustlers 4-3. And in pro ball last night, Rockies at their division rival, Arizona Diamondbacks. Here's Top of the one. first, Nolan Arenado up, and he hits one. Oh, he that it. is deep to left for a two-run dinger. Nolan's 18th home run of the season. He deserves to celebrate crossing home. Bottom of the third, watch this play here. Adam Jones up for the D-backs. Grounded a second, Ryan McMahon slides, spins, he throws, and gets the out. To strand two D backs on base. Then, top of the sixth, Rockies up 2 1. Arenado hits one deep to left, and the big man David Dahl comes around to score. Rockies go on to win 8 to 1. And right now, in the bottom of the ninth, the Diamondbacks up with one last chance. The Rockies are up 6 to 4, so hopefully, two wins in a row. All right, well, almost, or the game's almost over, so that's all that matters. That's yes, right. It is. Okay, we'll be right back after the break.